So welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're looking at Coinly. This is the best method for reporting your tax liabilities, something we all must do. And they make it super simple to do this through their all-in-one user interface, where we can connect our centralized, decentralized exchanges and also earning platforms such as Celsius and alike. So within this video, we're going to go through how to do all of these different things. I'm also going to show you how to upload your documents for the Terra blockchain as well. So Terra, centralized exchange, decentralized exchanges, all of that coming up in this video. Make sure you do check them out. Sign yourself up via the link down below. I have partnered with Coinly here to gain us an additional 10% off our tax reports. They're live in over 20 countries here. So you know you're going to be secure with these tax reports that they're able to produce. Here in the UK, I report to the HMRC and they spit out the exact tax document I need to upload over there. So here is the Coinly main dashboard. And as you can see, it's rather blank right now. So we've got to really fill in the details here. You can see a wallet section. We're going to be importing our wallets via API key and also through CSV files, i.e. spreadsheets. Then we're going to check through some of our transactions, make sure they're accurate. We can make amendments if not, or if there's any discrepancies. And then finally spit out our local jurisdiction tax report to make sure we are keeping in line with what we must do. Over here, you can see the free plan is selected right now. This is because we have not yet generated the report. And you can see over here the number of transactions that you complete per year will incur a greater cost. So if you're doing like 100 transactions or less, just 49 bucks. Then if you're a trader, 3000 plus, you can see the numbers are going up here. But for most of us, we're probably in this category or this category here, as it really is surprising how many transactions you do get through. And of course, I've got that discount for you guys. Check out the pinned comment down below. So starting here on the dashboard, what we're going to do is first of all, import our wallets. So we go to add wallet or exchange, and you can see they list almost everyone that you can think of. If you're really keeping to the main exchanges, utilizing your own decentralized wallets like MetaMask, etc., this is going to be super simple for you. It's only if you go in really obscure exchanges off the beaten track, you may have some issues. But the guys here at Coinly have almost every exchange listed, so we shouldn't run into any difficulties. The first thing I'm going to do is import an Ethereum-based wallet. So this is going to be a MetaMask account, and this should encompass all your transactions via decentralized exchanges or anything you're doing generally in DeFi. So here is an Ethereum based wallet. You can grab it directly through Etherscan here, or if you want to take your address directly from MetaMask, you know where to go, MetaMask, and then copy your address directly from there. But just for ease of this video, I've pulled up an address here. We're going to utilize a random wallet address, not going to dox any of my information. I'm just going to copy this. So this is directly from Etherscan. And over on Coinly, we could just type in the word MetaMask. So selecting MetaMask from the list, wallet name MetaMask, I can then set up an auto sync or import from a file. But with this, it's easy to just do an auto sync. And all this requires me to do is enter that public wallet address. So this is your typical receiving address. And then you can do start from the beginning or select a custom date. We're just going to do it from the beginning directly due to the fact when you spit out your tax report, it's going to look through all the dates of the transactions you've done and then just encompass all the ones within the specific tax year that you're required to report on. So here we go, secure import, and this will start to bring in all of that data. You can see that it's starting to run by here and it's sinking down below. However, if you've been bridging your funds from ETH over onto other layer one EVM compatible wallets, utilizing the same MetaMask account, this will not pull through all your transactions. So for example, on the same wallet here, you can see over on Polygon Scan on the Matic network, we've also got funds over here as well. So I again need to pull through this wallet, but this time I'll have to go back here add a wallet and then type in Polygon. Then click on Polygon and then the exact same thing. We're gonna just paste the address in there from the beginning and click on import. Now we wanna do the same with any other chains that we've bridged towards. So if you've been utilizing Phantom, for example, Binance Smart Chain, for example, you just wanna go ahead and start typing those things in. So for Binance Smart Chain, we can see it by there. For Phantom, just type in Phantom and just pop in your address for all of these different chains to ensure that you're pulling through all all of your transactions. You should know where you bridged towards. So I'll quickly add Phantom and Avalanche as well. And now all of this data is being pulled through automatically by the system. It's just syncing up all that data. And we can see the variety of different chains that we're currently 
on, but this is still loading. So Polygon is still coming through. We can see we start to pull data through for BSC and Ethereum mainnet down here. The more wallets you have, the more times you're going to have to do this and just ensure that you're pulling through absolutely all the data that you can think of. You want to make the best possible attempt at doing your taxes correctly. And so if the authorities do question things down the line, at least you've made the best attempt possible. Things won't always be 100% accurate, but just do your best with this. So whilst those decentralized wallets are loading up, we're going to go into a centralized exchange. Now, this is going to be very similar for a range of ones. So if you're utilizing, say, Coinbase, KuCoin, or for example, here, I want to pull up the FTX exchange, as this is one I've used quite frequently. We're just going to type that in and then see the two options here. We can either do auto sync. So this will be via an API key or we can import a CSV file. Now over on FTX, you can see I've got the API data up here. This requires you to go over to this icon and then scroll down to API and click on that. Now we need to generate an API key. If we just scroll down, every time you do this for a centralized exchange, make sure you're utilizing read only access. You do not want to give these guys access to moving any of your funds, which can be made possible through this button here. So read only access. And then we're going to copy across our API key and secret over to Coinly. So set up auto sync. This is for the API key and then secret paste that in as well. Once again, we'll do that from the beginning of all history on there and secure import. If you've been trading futures, for example, you're going to want to utilize a different method. You're going to want to go to orders and then trade history and generate a CSV file for all the various drop downs within this list because you're going to have a lot more data than myself on here. Once you download a CSV file, you can simply drag and drop it directly in here for Coinly and they will upload that data. So this would be the same process if you're utilizing exchanges like Binance, Coinbase, any other popular centralized exchanges. Typically for most people, I suggest the API key will work without any problems, but if you do get any issues, you will want to delete the API key access and just import a CSV file file. If you have a CSV file and an API key running at the same time, you're going to get duplicate transactions. So make sure you just have the CSV file if the API key is providing any issues for you. Back on the wallets tab here, we can see a load of our transactions are starting to be pulled through. So this is all running smoothly in the background here. The last thing I really want to show you is Terra. So if you're utilizing the Terra blockchain, you'll need to come to this website here. I'll leave it down below. It's just called trackterra.org. Org, and here you can just post your Terra wallet address. Then you click start passing and it will do the work for you. From there, you're going to get this dashboard, show you how many transactions you've done, etc. We then go to the transactions tab here. And for this, we need to download a CSV file. On this export button, we can click on Coinly and it's going to give us a nice CSV file prepared for Coinly. And then we can tap download. Back on this page, we can then click on the add wallet or exchange. To add the Terra wallet, we need to create our own custom wallet. We can just tap in a load of random words and it'll come up with this, create a custom wallet. So click on that and then we can add the name. So Terra and then import from a file and I can drag and drop my CSV file that I just downloaded. So drag and drop done and then I can click on import and it should pull through all of that information on that Terra wallet. If you utilize lending services such as Celsius within the app, you just need to go to settings, click on API in settings, then generate an API key. Ensure that you're just doing a read only and I just select transactions there and then it will give you the key to then input over on Coinly. If you're utilizing the crypto.com app, go on to accounts, top right hand corner, you can see the dollar and clock button, click on that one. And then in the top right hand corner again, there's an export button, click that. And then you can export your crypto wallet details and then just select the dates. So I would select the financial year that's just passed. In the UK, that is from 6th of April 2021 up to the 5th of April 2022. Then click export and it will send the CSV file directly to my registered email address for this app. And then I can just dump that CSV file over into Coinly again. So once you've added all the wallets that you need to, you should see all of them listed here and the number of transactions on each of these wallets. So this should be fairly accurate. There will be some of these exclamation marks 
if there are some inaccuracies or balances with issues. And then what you need to do is actually do some troubleshooting on these transactions. So we're going to the transactions tab and see what's up with these things. So this is, for example, a very obscure altcoin here with no market price data found. So what you would do is click on this by here and then go to the edit button. There's no value for this, so I would click change. I would then go over to CoinGecko, look at the historical price data for this token and then insert the most accurate data that I can find. So I would utilize CoinGecko and then put in the actual amount. So let's just say eight of these coins here was worth a sum total of 50 pence. And then I can save that in here and this will help remedy some of the issues that are coming up. If the issues are really minor, you're just a few pence out, etc. I wouldn't worry too much, but where you're missing whole pieces of information, you want to remedy as much as you possibly can. Again, we're trying to do the best that we can do and submit as much accurate information as possible. So we've imported wallets. We'll check through our transactions. This will be a bit of an arduous process. And then once that is done, we're going to go to tax reports. From this tax report button, this is where we can actually get our relevant tax documentation. It's telling me to upgrade my account. The Terra wallet I pulled through who has thousands and thousands of transactions on. And so I'm going to have to have the most expensive plan. There's also some reviews needed for some of that data. Again, that would mean siphoning through all those transactions to remedy as much as possible. And then once you've done that, we will have a very accurate picture of exactly how much capital gains and PL we've got. So at the moment, this suggests around £16,800. Around £26 worth of that is through income, i.e. staking, etc. There's some costs and expenses incurred that will be like Ethereum gas costs and then scrolling to the bottom down here we can then actually pick out our report so which reports are available what do i need i will need two here i will need the hmrc capital gains summary this is just a one page document showing exactly how much capital gains you've got to pay but i will then also need the complete tax report as well as this will provide every single transaction and again that needs to be submitted to my authority here in the uk make sure you do have the relevant information for your own jurisdiction. It will depend where you live. If I click download report, it's going to ask me to pay for the more expensive version. So we go to view plans here because there's so many transactions on here. I have to pay for the most expensive report down here, 279 bucks. Utilizing the promo code that I've left in the pinned comment down below, we'll get 10% off and you can also pay in cryptocurrency as well. So I'd highly recommend utilizing Coinly's service for a painless tax season. I used them in 20 2021 and now I'm utilizing them again in 2022 as I found this website highly intuitive to use and I can also share this information here with my accountant directly utilizing Coinly just to ensure a second pair of eyes checks out all of this data. So if you found this useful drop a like on today's video check out the pinned comment down below for that discount and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.